part two of our uh, dog toy training series with Ryan Bondock and this is just going to be a quick clip about um, how to get more value and a longer life and more fun uh, for your dog with the existing toys that they do have. So Ryan, what do you recommend? Um, what I recommend is you actually rotate your toys out. Uh, keep the toys in a place out of reach and uh, so you can put two toys or three toys out at a time every day so that way they never get sick of the toys that they already have and you don't have to constantly buy new toys. It also helps you with uh, any kind of toy possession. So by rotating the toys you remind your dog that the toys do belong to you and you are letting them play with it. Uh, that, that, you know, so then you can avoid them maybe snarling or growling when you get near a specific toy because they're so attached to it. Um, so yeah, definitely rotate them out. You'll, you'll, you'll get more out of <laughs> out of your toys. Your uh, your puppy will, will appreciate, be more appreciate yeah. and be more enthusiastic to see this. Oh, I remember this toy. And so definitely try to do that. Um, it'll, it'll definitely help. And then also too, I mentioned, I believe earlier you were saying, you know, how important it is for a dog to be mentally stimulated. And the analogy that I kind of have is it's like the kid who has, you know, 500 toys and plays with them by himself and is sick of all of them, has to have a new toy every week, but his friend yeah. comes over and suddenly wants to play Monopoly by himself or, you know, play with that, and all of a sudden it becomes, what, a high value toy. Yeah. So, same thing with dogs, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, by rotating the toys out, you can avoid situations like that. Um, you, and, and also, uh, going back to what uh, the last video, the last clip, by rotating the toys, you can gain more focus from your dog. So it's not always that same tennis ball that he's going to bring to you. Um, by rotating the toys and varying the ways that you play with these toys, they'll look to you to play, and you guys could actually play together. Versus, I'm going to bring this particular toy to you and drop it on my lap because I love the tennis ball, which is there every single day of my life. So, Perfect. Yeah. And again, you know, we are providing these complimentary tips to help you increase the dog human bond, the relationship that you have and the quality of that relationship that you have with your dog. So please feel free to give us your comments and feedback uh, below and let us know how this worked out for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to email us through our contact form at newyorkdognanny.com.